In addition to simplifying a system of forces to a single force and moment, you may also be asked to simplify a system of forces to a single force that acts some distance away from some point. In this problem, we're asked to simplify this system to a single force that acts some distance D away from point C. And we need to figure out what this distance D is. Now, how do we do this? Well, it's very similar to reducing a system to that acts as a single moment and force. So we're gonna start the same way. We're gonna look at our forces in the X. We're going to look at our forces in the Y. This is going to give us our resultant force and it's gonna give us the angle that this resultant makes. So this part's exactly the same. Where it differs a little bit is when we're looking at our moments. When we look at our moments, we need to take the moments about a point and we're gonna choose the point that we're trying to find the distance away from. So that part's similar because if we were trying to replace this with the equivalent system at point C, we would take the sum of the moments at point C. Where it changes a little bit is we're then going to equate this. So the sum of the moments of the system about point C is going to be equal to the sum of our moments or the, the sum of our resultant moment. So this, the components of our force. And this is gonna, in this case, have an X and a Y component. And if we use the idea that a moment is equal to a force times a distance, we can solve for what this offset distance is. Now I know this might be a little confusing, so let's work through the problem. So the first step, let's sum our forces in the x direction. So this is going to be right here. It's gonna be minus, and we're gonna to say to the right is positive. So minus 500 times the cosine of 60 minus 250 times four over five. And we can put that in our calculator, minus 500 cosine 60 minus 250 times four over five. And we get this is equal to minus 450. All right, so now let's look at the sum of the forces in the Y and we'll say anything up is positive. So we're gonna have minus 500 times the sine of 60 minus 300 because this force right here is pointing downward and minus 250 times three over five. So let's figure out what this is. And we get this is equal to minus 883. Okay, so uh, and then both of these are Newtons. So this is a Newton and this is a Newton. So we can figure out what my resultant force is. I can figure out my resultant force is going to be the square root of this 450 squared plus this 883 squared. So let's do that. Let's square this and add it to 450 squared. Take the square root and we get that this is equal to 991 Newtons. So this is my resultant force. This needs to act some distance away from point C and it needs to act on an angle. Now, what is this angle? Well, if I draw this just a bit, and this is point C. My resultant force acts some distance D away, and it's going to have these two components. It's gonna have a minus 883, and it's going to have a minus 450. So the angle I'm making is going to be this angle right in here. So normally I draw it like this, so I'll draw it in a different color. I'm gonna have something going this way, something going this way, and this is going to be the angle theta. So theta 
is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of 883 over 450. When I perform that calculation, I get this is equal to 63 degrees. And I want to draw my I want to draw my uh, resultant in this way. So I have, w when I'm taking the moments, I want to take, and I look at the different components, I want an X and Y component. So this is going to be 450. This is going to be 883. So now I need to look at this system. In this, I'm going to take the moments about point C. And then I want to look at this system, and that's going to be the sum of my moments about my resultant force. And it acts some distance D away. So let's do that. Let's look at the moments about point C. And that comes from that big system. I'm everything's going to be counterclockwise. It is going, I'm going to say positive. So that means if I start with this 400 newton force, it's going counterclock, it's going go counterclockwise, so it's positive 400 then this if we break this up we're going to have this is going to be negative and negative so we're going to have minus it's going to go around tail first so minus 500 times the sine of 60 that gives me this component that offset distance is one meter right it's this perpendicular distance right here is one meter so times one when i look at the x, it's going to be minus 500 times the cosine of 60. This distance right here is 2. Trying to separate what my force and my distances are with color. Then I have this 300 newton force. That's also going to be negative because I rotate it, it goes tail first. So I'm going to have minus 300. This perpendicular distance is going to be 2 plus 1 is 3. And then I have this force right here. Well, this force, if I break it up, my X component actually goes through point C, so it's not gonna have a moment about point C. My Y component is gonna have a moment about point C. So my Y component is, if I rotate it, it's gonna be negative, so it's gonna be minus uh, 250 times three over five. And this perpendicular distance right here is gonna be three, five, six. And we need to get what this value is. So let's put that in the calculator. 400. And we get this right here is equal to minus 2,333 Newton meters. So that's this side of the equation. So we're going to have minus 2,333 newton, uh, newton meters is going to be equal to this side of the equation. And this we get from this diagram. So this diagram says, okay, my 450 newton force, which is my x component, it goes through point C. So it makes no moment about point C. My y force, which is this 883, it's pointing down, so when I'm going, I said counterclockwise was positive, so when I'm going counterclockwise, this is going to be a minus 883. And it's going to be some distance that I need to figure out D away. So if I solve for D, I get D is this minus 2,333 divided by minus 800, 800, 83 and I get this distance this offset distance is equal to 2.64 meters now what does this actually mean this means I can replace this entire system right here with a single force so this is I'm just drawing it again and this is point C 
I can replace it with a force that is 2.64 meters away from point C and it acts at a 60 degree angle or a 63 degree angle and has a magnitude of 991 newtons. So I can replace all of this with a single force in that configuration. If this video was helpful, please consider liking my video and subscribing to my channel. It helps my channel reach a wider audience more easily.